In the previous video, we learned how to configure the next auth package with GitHub as an auth provider. We also learned that the next auth package with the help of this catch all route handles requests to slash API slash auth slash sign in and slash API slash auth slash sign out. In this video, let's learn how to navigate to those routes on a button click rather than having to enter it ourselves in the URL. In VS Code, open navbar.js, which contains the two buttons for signing in and signing out. Within the file, we are going to import two functions from the next auth library. Import sign in and sign out from next auth slash client. Now you might have guessed it already, but these two functions automatically navigate us to the sign in and sign out routes. All we have to do is add them as event handlers on the two buttons. Since we are going to use our own handler, we need to prevent the default behavior of the anchor tag. So for sign in, on click, we get the event call e dot prevent default and then the sign in function we have just imported. We also need to specify the href attribute which is slash api slash auth slash sign in. Similarly, let's handle sign out on click. So I'm going to copy the on click from the previous anchor tag, paste it and change sign in to the imported sign out function. The href also is going to be slash api slash auth slash sign out. And that is pretty much all we have to do. If you now save the file and go back to the browser, you can see we don't have any cookies at the moment. Click on sign in we are redirected to the built-in sign-in UI and after logging in, we see the cookies being set. If I now click on sign out, we are signed out from the app and the cookie is cleared. Also, since we have just the one auth provider, which is GitHub, we can specify the same as an argument to the sign-in method, which will skip taking us to the built-in sign-in page. So sign-in and the argument is the string GitHub. If we now go back to the browser and click on sign-in, we are automatically signed in through GitHub without having to land on the sign-in page that NextAuth provides. You can confirm it using the session token. Of course, if it is the first time you're signing into the app, GitHub would indeed ask for permission. So sign in and sign out from next auth slash client to sign in and sign out of the application using a button click. All right, we now have the GitHub auth with the sign in and sign out features working as expected. Next, it's time to focus on understanding how we can check if a user is signed in or not within a React component. Let's take a look at that in the next video.